So this is currently the set for the newest video. Uh, that pillar is probably going to be replaced because it's uh, not flat on the top like these ones. But yeah, this is basically the set. Uh, there's a few stools, benches, and stuff like that on these tables. And uh, the video is going to start off with these characters. So these are just the Goonies. And this guy, or Gun Ho from G.I. Joe, I'm calling him Philly Cheese for my video. They're going to be dealing with uh, both Chip and Dip in the beginning of the video. And then after that, I'm going to have Destro here and Cobra Troopers come in. And that'll be the second fight of the video. But yeah, that's basically it so far. So I've been thinking a lot about what I want this set right here. Oh, this is a foam board, by the way. Black foam board you got like Target. But I've been thinking a lot about what I want this set in here to be for my next video. And I think I, it's like, I want it to be like a bar slash villain hangout place, where like villains would hang out at and stuff like that. Cause I do want to use this set again um, for my next video, Batman versus Red Hood. So yeah, but I think this might be something like a, like a bar slash villain hangout area. But yeah, I think it looks really cool so far. But yeah, I think it looks really cool so far. So currently working on the set still. Uh, right now I'm just putting a straight black layer on it as a base coat. And then from there I'll be dry brushing a bunch of different kind of browns and all that. And the same thing will be done to all the rest of the things like the walls. But instead of brown it would be gray to make it more stony. But yeah. Getting that black on right now. So I just got the floors done, uh, last time I left off I had a base coat of black, now I had a um, acrylic dark chocolate brown on here, uh, I dry brushed it on and then I did a very light dry brushing of a flesh tan to give it that kind of wood look, you can see there's a darker and a lighter brown, just to give it that wood like look, but yeah, I'm really really happy with how it turned out. So it's a black, uh, black coat and then a chocolate dark brown. Uh, dry brushed and a very very light dry brush of a tan right on top and you get this dope wood effect Okay, so this is what I've gotten done so far. Got two of the doors painted. Uh, if you look, just some simple red over it and some dry brushing and some silver to make it look like a metal door. And there's a window right over there made from an action figure box and I just sanded down to make it look all nice and rough and everything like that. And this is what I think the layout's gonna look like. Kinda like this, there's gonna be a pillar here, pillar over there and pillar over there. Uh, but yeah. This is what I'm thinking so far. These tables are gonna stay like this because uh, they're gonna be broken in the video and I don't wanna put too much effort into something I'm gonna break. So yeah, I mean, I think they look fine, honestly. They're not that bad. But yeah, this is the basic layout so far that I've gotten. And this is where my next video will be taking place. And I'll also be using this set again for uh, my Red Hood versus Batman video, which will be the next video. But yeah. Looks really nice. Really love how the way this wood floor looks. Looks so freaking good. 
Okay, so here's some more behind the scenes. I currently have the characters all set up. And I'm trying something a little new. This, well, except for this, this is the same metal base plate I used when filming Spider-Man vs. Venom. Uh, I had to magnetize like how I'm having Chip right now. I mean, Dip right now, he has magnets on his feet. Uh, Chip doesn't have that, but something new I've been trying with this metal plate is hot gluing literally pieces of the set onto it. So I don't have to hot glue to the diorama, but if I hot glue to this, then it just it's nice and sturdy. It doesn't move around when I'm animating, and I'm not really like focusing down here anyways as of right now. So I just kind of like keep it up here, so you don't even see the metal plate anyways, but all this is nice and stable as I'm kind of like moving the character around, like I'm dragging it across here, and this isn't moving at all. So yeah, that's just something new I'm trying, and I think it's working out really good. I've also did the same thing with uh, the broad here, which was like the waiter of this uh, video. I just had him hot glued here when I was animating him so that I just moved in, like his upper body and he wouldn't move around or anything like that. So yeah, just something new I'm trying out. Uh, I don't know if I'll do that for every single figure because not every single figure can handle hot glue, but that's definitely something I've been trying. And another thing I've been trying that I learned from um, some LEGO animators is to record audio first and basically use the audio as a template. So I would just go into DaVinci here. This is DaVinci Resolve, by the way. And I would just uh, count every two frames, just like this. Every two frames is one frame in my stop motion because I do 12 frames per second, but this runs at 24. So I just divide it by two and I just, 12 is like that. So just that's one frame and that's two frames. And then I just count the frames and uh, take as many frames as I need. And in the middle of some like dialogue, like let's say this guy here. That right there, what he said, just like a rock mist. Like in the middle of that, I could choose a specific point because I know how many frames that is and make him do some kind of action. Like just for this section right here, I can make him raise his arms like right in between that one thing. So it's just looks a lot better and more natural because when you talk, you move your arms or something like that. And I could do that while doing this technique. So yeah, very useful technique. Uh, I recommend everyone try it. Record your uh, dialogue first and use your dialogue as a template for your recording. And uh, yeah, really good technique I learned. Okay, so this is a little behind the scenes here while I'm in the middle of filming. So the idea is I want a pillar to be broken. So I have multiple different pillars in my video. I have like a split in half one, normal one, and this one right here. I just painted it up right now, but I cracked it open and I painted everything inside black. I want to get a gray on there. But this is the part where it kind of just like breaks completely. So when I go into the scene over here, there's supposed to be a pillar right here. I have three holes in the top to line them up so I know where to put the pillar back and then as the frames go by I'm going to replace the pillar with that one with a bunch of shattered pieces and make it look like Chip here got knocked through it and yeah hoping it'll turn out really good. Okay so some more behind the scenes stuff I wanted to share about a new trick I've been doing since doing this video. Oh, I'm also almost done by the way but I've been recently trying something new throughout the video and that's using washable red marker for blood effects uh, if you look at this cobra trooper here he's just bleeding out here with some this is just sticky tack and red washable marker so it's easy to clean up but it also looks more gruesome and more gory than regular play-doh i'm using a mixture of both play-doh and this technique but yeah so like right there that's some blood if you look at chip one second He's got blood on his chest area. I don't know if you can see that chest. Some of it on his uh, metal fist and on his uh, cardboard box. But yeah, it looks really nice. Looks like some just nice thin old blood and not like a bunch of Play Doh. But yeah, some little behind the scenes just to show you guys what's up. And if you look here, good old Lego stand. And this is just a little airsoft, uh, not airsoft, airbrush box holder just to increase the height of it so that I get some good angles. Like if I put it into the stand right here, see that, I get some nice angles. So like I said, in many, what is it? I don't know, actually, I have no idea where I said it before, but yeah, you don't need any fancy camera stand, you just need Legos like I do. Yeah, just some behind the scenes. 
a bunch of broken things. A lot of broken things on the set so far. But yeah, looking good. So I have just wrapped up my last scene for this new dip and chip animation. It took me quite a long time, a lot of hard work. Man, I did this in about a little over two weeks. I have never finished an animation this long. It's 13 minutes of just raw footage right now. I haven't even put in the audio yet that I have recorded prehand. Some of the audio I had not um, lip synced or whatever you would call it, synced it to the actions. So some of those are just like straight pauses that I have yet to add. So this video might be a little bit longer, but the raw footage is right now 13 minutes, dead on 13 minutes. And I have never completed this long of a video in such a short amount of time, but yeah. Crazy, crazy ride. Everything in the set has just been destroyed because I've recently enjoyed quite a bit adding destruction to the set. As I'm animating, it just looks more realistic and way cooler. But yeah, finished up everything. Destro was the final boss and he has been defeated. Oh, also I've gotten this new clicker. It's it's like the same thing as the other one. You could get this on Amazon. Just search up Bluetooth phone clicker. Uh, I just got this brand new one. It's whatever this brand is here. You guys can see it right there just search that up and you can find that brand on amazon that's what i used but yeah took me quite a while to do but yeah it was um i'm happy with how to end it uh it's definitely different from what i had originally planned there was a lot of audio i cut out from the original um script uh, i had the audio even recorded in here there's a bunch of audio in here that i've not even used like a couple of these like here Activating you hear that like these I hadn't even like these lines aren't even animated like I'm not going to use any of that because I just felt like the flow of it didn't really lead towards what I wanted and what I wanted was some flashy anime like sword kill and this just didn't really quite lead to it so I'm cutting out a lot of the audio from the original script so a lot of that audio is wasted but for the most part, I got an ending that I'm really happy with, and I hope you guys really do enjoy it once you guys watch the video. Well, you guys will probably watch this, or for the Patreons, will probably watch this after the video has gone up, but yeah. Enjoyed making this video quite a bit, and now I'll be moving on to uh, Red Hood versus Batman. Hopefully that one won't be as long. I mean, I'll try to still make it at least 8 minutes, but I'm going to try not to make it 13 minutes like this one.